Dunlop is ready, and the first pitch of the contest is lifted in the air to left center. Fedko is over there. That's Kyler make the catch. One pitch and one out. Davis is retired. Hard hit toward the middle and through, and Vanderbilt has their first base runner of the game. Maybe the next in that line. Back to the mound off of Dunlop. Tough play. Haig just knocks it down. It'll be an infield hit for Thomas. It's one of those play part of that group, and that's Austin Martin and Harry Ray. Slow chopper to short. Haig has it on the run in time. Good defense for UConn to open things up, and they leave two stranded. To the bottom half, and our first two from Rocker. Slider in the dirt, got him swinging. Rodriguez with the tag out, and Rocker gets his first punch out of 2020. A 1 2 3 start. Both teams with zeros on the board. One inning down, Vanderbilt and UConn scoreless. How many times you tell yourself, don't swing, it's not a fastball, it's a slider, and it disappears. But a leadoff walk for Fedco. Smashes the first pitch he sees from Rocker into right. Fedco stops at second base. Almost got back picked there, but he's back. And Crawford with a loud single into right field. That's his first collegiate hit. Sits on the fastball and not tardy. And that's nine winners in, ready for another one. Bunted up the first baseline, a perfect bunt. It's bobbled by Jones. He still has trouble, and everybody's safe. Gets the sacrifice. Stays on thanks to the error. It does a nice job to bunt that. Spencer Jones maybe almost gets too close to home plate right there because you're not going to go to third. Creates that, makes that play a little bit tougher. And what you really worry about. That's outside and it walks in a run. The Huskies on the board first, one nothing in the second. Still nobody out. First pitch slider back to Rocker. Stumbling, he shovels it off. They'll only get the out at home. Chase the slider, strike three. Second strikeout of the night for Rocker. Vulnerable. Hit to center and playable for Colwick again. That ends the inning. Could have been a whole lot worse for Rocker and the Doors, but the Huskies get on the board thanks to a walk and a miscue. They do from Dunlop to Rodriguez, who singled his first time up, and he's got another hit here. Down the line, over to Corral at his Fedco, and it's a double for Rodriguez. Well, when Tim Corbin hits a true freshman in the two hall, that gets your attention, and we're starting to figure it out. C.J. Rodriguez has put two great swings on the baseball tonight. Guys having seen you. Missed on that one, and his first walk of the game. That will be. Runner goes, chased in the dirt. Gazzo with the stop. And the inning's over. Second strikeout of the game for Dunlop. Viewing. This one's roped down the right field line and down for a hit. An extra base as Davis can fly. Heading to second. He's thinking three. The relay on the way. There won't be one. Leadoff triple for Cooper Davis.
put it exactly where he needed to, down the right field line in front of the 345 sign. Yeah, Cooper Davis, one of the more experienced guys in this lineup, got off to a great start in 2019. Former hockey player. Can do a little bit of everything offensively. Can put a pure swing on it like that. Can bunt. Uses the whole field. He's had a good night at the plate. He swings at the first pitch and drills it right center. Long run over for New Serino. He'll make the catch and they'll concede the sack fly. This game is tied. In the span of two pitches, a triple and a sack fly. And CJ. Down and in, and Jones is hit again. Second time that Jones has reached. 3-2 is outside. Brings up Carter Young, the bottom of the order. He squares the bunt, gets it down, first baseline, no play at home, and he's safe at first. Good call, Mike. The squeeze to perfection. Two to one, Vanderbilt. Give Carter Young a lot of credit here. Doesn't get overly excited and just stays within himself. Lays down a perfect bunt. Not really not a perfect pitch to bunt either. And Bushling just last time up down the right field line. First pitch fastball hits off of Crawford. The second baseman Bushling tries to give it. Everybody's safe. And the bases are loaded with only one out for Rodriguez. Now there's some energy in that Vanderbilt dugout. You call that a hit or an error, DC? What do you have there? That ball was sinking hard on Crawford. What I have is I'm not the official scorer. Yeah, <laughs> that's well hit. I, I, I don't know what I, I think I'd give that a hit. All right. Driven to left. It's got a chance. Off the wall. One run is home. Right behind him is Nolan. Two runs in on a huge single from Rodriguez. He's three for three. Vanderbilt in front. I'm telling you, I wouldn't mind C.J. Rodriguez in the three-hole either. This is a breaking ball, and he's ready to rock. Sees it up, gets the barrel out. That's advanced hitting, Dom, where you can see a breaking ball in an RBI situation. If it's up, you can get on it. That's really a nice job by a true freshman. Payoff pitch. Runners take off. It's outside, ball four. Runners go, 3-2, high and away, ball four. Walks in a run, and the Doors lead 5-1. to one. Still within reach. Swing and a miss. Second strikeout for Bologna to end the inning. He did walk in. The adjustments in the second AB, and now Crawford making the adjustments in the third, but Rocker wins round three. Swinging on a slider, that's nine strikeouts for Kumar Rocker. Through six innings of one run ball. The talented sophomore and Vanderbilt, they lead five to one. In Corvallis, too. The three two. Grounder toward the middle. Diving stop. Bushling won't have a play. Great effort, though, here at the top of the ninth inning. You love to see. This one's hit well, left center field, long run Winkle. Into the gap, he'll give way for Fedco. Plenty deep for Jones to come in and score. And it's 6-1 Vanderbilt on the sack fly. This one's driven down a left field line. A dive and he comes up empty. Hogan goes back to retrieve it off the fence. It's a two-out double. Well struck.
Moriarty now. Swings at the first offer right at Young. And that'll do it. The Vanderbilt Commodores are in the win column for the first time in 2020. A 6-1 to one victory over the Yukon Huskies. A clean win. Kumar Rocker gets the W. C.J. Rodriguez paces the offense. And Vanderbilt begins the defense with a 1-1 record. And much like last year, the, the Vanderbilt ends up on their heels and Kumar Rocker gets them upright. And he was extremely impressive and he has not lost the feel for that slider. That pitch was on point tonight. A good showing also by Colby Dunlop of the Huskies. Gets a no decision in this one, but a fun one to watch indeed between two opponents that don't really get to play each other all that much. So a fun night for all indeed here Day two of M.